motorcyclists. Want to know how to visit Cuba? Well, now is the time, and here's how. In 1996, travel writer and photographer Christopher P. Baker shipped his BMW motorcycle to Cuba. That's me, by the way. I traveled more than 7,000 miles during three months researching a travel guidebook. My Moon Cuba travel guidebook was published in 1997 and is now in its sixth edition. My journey also resulted in publication of my literary travel log, Mi Moto Fidel, Motorcycling Through Castro's Cuba, published by National Geographic in 2001. I ever since dreamed of one day leading group motorcycle tours in Cuba. In 2013, after receiving a license from the U.S. Treasury Department to do so, I led the first tour of Cuba end-to-end -end by U.S. motorcyclists since the revolution in 1959. Now is the time to visit. With the recent renewal of diplomatic relations, every U.S. citizen can now travel legally to Cuba for people-to-people -people educational exchange. This license authorizes persons subject to U.S. jurisdiction to travel with an organization that sponsors exchanges to promote people-to-people -people contact resulting in meaningful interaction between U.S. citizens and Cubans. So what is people-to-people? -people? In essence, it's any meaningful interaction in which U.S. citizens and Cubans learn about each other's society such as a meeting with a Cuban baseball team, or even a game with the fans, or perhaps even an exchange with Cuban motorcycle cops. Now, with scheduled flights beginning in September 2016, getting there is a cinch. Plus, the airlines will even provide your visa. U.S. law prohibits motorcycles or other vehicles from being shipped to Cuba, but Cuban motorcycle tours has access to Suzuki V-Stroms, Harley Davidsons, and BMWs brought in from elsewhere. Our tours are fully staffed, including a driver and support van for all luggage, and even a motorcycle if needed. Plus, there'll always be a Cuban tour guide as required by law, and riding at the front of the pack and ensuring the care of our motorcycles will be our Cuban road guide. And I'll be there as your tour leader ensuring that your experience is far more fulfilling than you could ever imagine. By the way, this 1948 Harley-Davidson flathead belongs to my pal Ernesto Guevara, son of Shea. Cuban Motorcycle Tours has designed three sensational itineraries that take in the best of Cuba. The eight-day itinerary takes in Cuba's world-famous tobacco country centered on the stunningly beautiful Vinales Valley. Once in the heart of tobacco country, we'll visit the most famous tobacco farm in Cuba, that of my close friend Hiroshi Robaina, who educates us about production of the world's finest tobacco leaves. Ha! Ah, visiting Cuba without smoking a cigar will be like visiting France without sampling the wines. Our 12-day Western and Central Cuba tour combines the best of tobacco country with the entire western half of the island and includes the town of Santa Clara with its remarkable monument and mausoleum to Che Guevara, seen here. The highlight of this tour is undoubtedly the charming colonial city of Trinidad, where the sound of vehicles gives way to the clip-clop of hooves. A special treat will be a visit to the Bay of Pigs, seen for the ill-fated CIA-sponsored invasion by Cuban-American exiles in 1961. Here we'll visit the excellent museum that tells the Cuban side of this tragic event. Our 14-day all-Cuba tour covers 2,000 miles and takes you to Guantanamo at the far eastern end of the island. The route delivers us at Baracoa, founded in 1511 and blessed with an incredible backdrop. It's also the only place in Cuba with a distinct regional cuisine which we enjoy to the fullest. Plus, we follow the gorgeous Caribbean shoreline that leads to the city of Guantanamo with its lovely colonial core. Before heading back to Havana, we'll explore Santiago de Cuba, 
the second largest city on the island, with a personality all its own. Not least, it's considered the heartland of the revolution, which was birthed here when Fidel launched an attack on the Moncada barracks in 1953. We'll also visit San Juan Hill, famous for the charge of the Rough Riders, led by Teddy Roosevelt. We'll have my friend Achilles, a historian and composer, tell the tale of the Spanish-Cuban-American War in song. And what can I say about Havana, where we spend at least two nights in every tour? It's simply superlative, resembling nothing more than a Hollywood time warp stage set, from its 1950s high-rise modernist buildings to the ubiquitous 1950s American cars. Of course, we get off the bikes to explore colonial Havana Vieja on foot. Plus, we'll visit Museo Ernest Hemingway, the former home of the Nobel novelist. It's one of our favorite visits. Rest assured, I'm a gourmand. And while not every meal will be to this standard, we assure you that your dining experience with Cuban motorcycle tours will surprise and delight. Normally we like to keep this a secret, but we couldn't not entice you with a sneak preview of your sunset ride in a classic convertible car. And what would a visit to Havana be without a night at the Tropicana, a retro-style open-air cabaret like no other? What a finale! Please contact us if you would like us to prepare a custom tour for you and your friends, motorcycle group or association. I guarantee much more than merely a motorcycle tour. To learn more, visit our website www.cubamotorcycletours.com.